What you are about to hear is another prophecy from the prophet who prophesied Japan's judgments of God 16 years prior to March 11, 2011. www.dailymotion.com Prophecy to Japan 16 years prior to 2011. Jesus declares World War III on sinners worldwide. God is pissed off at sinners worldwide. Therefore, he has officially declared the start of WW3 on Earth. It is not being started by Russia, ISIS, Israel, or any other Hazarian mafia, breed of greed and genocide regimes, but by God Almighty, Jesus Christ who is the sinner's hypocrite's greatest terrorist. The world is ignoring his worldwide call and command to repent of sinning. This call began November 19, 2013. God has no more options of general mercy and patience with sinners on earth. Therefore, he resorts to getting the big stick out, and beating sinners to death in most cases, in hopes that some may finally cave in and repent. Deuteronomy chapter 25, verse 2. Then if the guilty man deserves to be beaten, the judge shall cause him to lie down and be beaten in his presence, with a number of stripes in proportion to his offense. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. Then I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, the one sitting on it is called faithful and true, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. Jesus is not all love and hugs, as false preachers like Joel Osteen have been lying to you. He is a man of war. Exodus chapter 15 verse 3. Repent or perish. Luke chapter 13 verses 3 through 5. Subscribe, like, re-upload, and spread the word. There are more prophecies coming. www.aggressivechristianity.net I speak unto thee this day, and I say it is me, the living God, who does call men to the perfect way, the way of my righteousness revealed. But I say, when men will refuse that way to take their own way, what do they do? I say, they go in a way that brings them into sin, a way that invites death unto them, and a way whereby they provoke me to wrath. And I say, it is because they fail to obey me, but instead they render towards me disobedience, and I say that they pay for the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do have the perfect way for men to live in, to walk in, and obey me in each and every day. And I say if men would humble themselves, bow down low, and obey me, then I say that they could be guided in my way. And yes, they would be given the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely will not withhold any good thing from the ones who walk uprightly. But I say that the ones who will choose the way of disobedience, the way of sin and death, are choosing the way whereby they will know my wrath. For I say it is me, the living God, who does indeed bring my wrath upon the ones who choose disobedience day after day. For I say when men are choosing the way of willful sin, choosing the way of disobedience, they are choosing to be found under my anger revealed. And I say they are choosing to go in a way that I did not intend, nor did I provide, but I say they bring it to themselves. And I say it is because they have not accepted my truth, nor my light, nor my mercy, and been thankful for the same. But I say instead they have chosen to go off on their own accord, off on the way of demons, and I say they live under the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to live under demons, but I say that I call you to live under life. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that for me you are guided each way. That is, each way that I choose, which is the way of life that you can be found abiding in the same. For I say that I, the living God, have intended that men would live long, would bear much fruit, and would abound in me. That is, that they could be led by the power of my spirit day after day, and be given the truth that I I provide. But I say when men are ever reliant on their own understanding, when they are reliant on the voices of demons and will not obey the commands of my spirit, then I say they are utter fools. And I say it is fools who bring to themselves the fools' rewards because they are far from my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend tender mercy and goodness and life and strength for the ones who will obey me. And I say that I will indeed repeatedly show them the way wherein they can be kept. For I say that I, the living God, do not leave my people to live in hatred and bitterness and accusation and despair. But I say that I call my people to live in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that my people would walk in the way that I offer day after day. That is, being made glad, ever thankful that it is me they can look to and believe. For I say, when a people will be ever trusting, believing, and looking to me, then of course they are guided forth in my way. And yes, they are given the blessedness, the truth, the light, and the strength day by day. For I say, it is indeed a privilege to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me, 
and be brought forth ever guided by me. And I say it is a privilege to be shown the light upon the path that I alone can give thee time and again. For I say, when you will be cleaving unto me, believing and hoping in me, then of course you are given the strength that I provide. But I say, when you turn to the gods of the heathen, when you take up the ways that are indeed ruled by demons, you are taking up my wrath. For I say that I, the living God, do indeed have the children of disobedience covered in wrath and fury and indignation, because that is what they have chosen to live in. And I say, when men will be steeped and bound in sin, then I say they remain in the same always. That is, unless they will cry out unto me in true repentance and revolutionize their lives by the same. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever present to the repentant to guide them forth. But I say that the ones who will choose the way of death and destruction destruction and damnation, what can they do except live out their days under the wrath? For I say that I'm angry with them because of their rebellion against me and hatred for my way. For I say when men will choose according to demonic inspiration, they are choosing their own sorrows, and yes, they will live under the same. And I say they are choosing the tragedy of misconception of who and what I am. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to misconception or deception, but I say that I call you to the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope that I provide. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that indeed you are guided forth by me. I say that I call you to be thankful each day that indeed you can be looking unto me, believing and trusting in me because of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and strength, the way that is hope provided. Therefore I say this day, be glad to continue believing and trusting, be glad to be partaking, be glad to be believing in me. For I say it is through me, the living God, that you will be guided forth in the truth, the light, the blessedness that I provide. And I say it is through me, the living God, that you are given the hope and the eternal glories that I do bring day after day. For I say that I, the living God, do not, absolutely do not withhold any good thing from the ones who believe and receive of me. But I say that I give to my own the blessedness, the truth, the light, and the mercy day by day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to weary yourself by walking in a way that is far from me. But I say that I call you to be made glad each day that you can continue to trust, to believe, to look unto me, for I am indeed the I am God. That is, I am the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, the way that is mercy provided. And I say that I am the way wherein you are guided each day, as you will believe and trust in me. For I say that I, the living God, will give to my own the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy day by day. And I say that I will cause my people to be ever strengthened in that which I give them, as they are looking unto me. For I say, if it is me, the living God, that you will be looking unto in faith and trust and confidence, it is me, the living God, who does indeed guide you forth. And it is me, the living God, who will give to you the light, the truth, and the mercy day by day, as I guide you in my way. Therefore, I say this day, count it a privilege to keep on believing, to keep on trusting, to keep on following after. And I say, count it a privilege to be uplifted in that which I give you, which is my light always. For I say, when I, the living God, do give to a man the light upon the path, he is meant to rejoice and walk in the same. But I say, when a man will reject my light to choose the pathway of darkness, of course he is invoking, inviting my anger upon him. I say this day when I, the living God, do give you the light and you will be brought forth, then I say, be thankful unto me. That is, be thankful to be of a purpose directed and brought forth in that which I give time and again. For I say that I, the living God, will give to you the light, the strength, the truth, the mercy, the hope day by day. And I say that I will cause you to know the strength of who I am as you are rejoicing each day in me. For I say that I, the living God, never called my people to live under the curse, the wretched state that they are in, yet I say they are there because of sin. That is, they are choosing to listen to demons, obey the commands of the same, and likewise put themselves under the curse of sin. That is, even after they have been forgiven by me and shown the light upon the path. 
I say they are choosing contrary to the way that I give them, which is the way of my life. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give to you the way of truth and light, the way of mercy and strength, I say you are meant to be guided forth in the same. And I say you are meant to be made glad each day that it is me that you look to and believe. For I say when you will be serving with gladness, rejoicing in the giving of praise, then I say you see my goodness all of your days. But I say when a man is murmuring and complaining against me, troubling his own soul, I say that he's the one who will take himself in the way of damnation. That is, because he is vexing himself by his hatred for obedience unto me. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to vexation, but I say that I call you to joyous salvation in me. That is, by being made glad each day that it is me you are privileged to look unto and believe. And I say if you purpose yourself to love me, to serve me, and obey me, then of course you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the strength to continue the light upon the path, for I will give unto you the same. Now I say this day there are many who are full of deception in these days because they will not walk honestly with me. But I say they think they can go on with their trickery, their foolery, their vanity, and somehow they get by. And I say they are desperately needy of repenting and choosing my way and walking uprightly in the same. And I say they are needy of being brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy, the blessedness that I provide. I say this day do not go in the way of the stubborn, the proud, the foolish, who think they get by when they do not. For I say such ones have been deceived by demons, and yes, they are loving it so. For they can do as they please, when they please, how they please, and somehow they imagine they are fine with me. But I say it is not me they are looking unto, nor believing, but I say they are believing the lies of demons, and they are manifest in the same. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to demons, but I call you to the truth, the light, the strength and the hope that I provide. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you are uplifted and guided in my way, and given the strength, the truth, the blessedness, the hope of who I am. For I say it is a good thing to realize what mercy you've been given as you repent unto me. And I say it is a good thing to serve me with gladness always. For I say that my people are not meant to resent nor begrudge me. They are not meant to accuse nor abuse me. But I say they are meant to be thankful each day in me. That is, to be uplifted and guided and given the hope of who I am. Now I say when you see the ones who grow lazy, who grow critical and ever complaining, what do they do? I say they bring to themselves their own bitterness, their own sorrow, and the troubles that do remain. And I say they are found under my wrath, revealed again and again and again because of what it is that they choose to live in. That is, they choose to live in the cup that the enemy offers, drinking fully of the same and bearing the shame. For I say that I, the living God, do offer to men newness of life, and when they repent and keep that repentance, they will be joyful before me. But I say when men begin to look to the arm of flesh, look to their own little ways, and think how great they are, they become as fools. And I say they go into misconduct, they go into transgression, violation, and separation from me. And I say they go in a way that I never intended, nor did I provide. I say this day there is no reason to go in the way of death and damnation. There is every reason to come forth in the newness of life that I provide. And I say there is every reason to be uplifted, strengthened, and directed by me. For it is me, the living God, who is the source of all strength and safety. It is me, the living God, who is the truth intended and provided. And it is me, the living God, who will direct you in the way that I provide. Therefore I say this day, be glad to continue trusting, believing, looking to me, and being brought forth in my way. That is, the way of newness of life, the way of strength and safety, and the way wherein you are kept each day by me. I say, be thankful to serve, to love, to obey me, be thankful to be guided forth in the way of my life, that you do not need to bring to yourself the way of death, the way of wrath, the way of my war against those who disobey me.